Jeffrey G. Parker, Platform Revolution, How Networked Markets Are Transforming the Economy and How to Make Them Work for You. Welcome to the incredible world of Platform Revolution, where industries are undergoing transformations with the rise of new business models. In this summary of Platform Revolution by Jeffrey G. Parker, you'll explore how companies like Airbnb, Uber, Apple, Google, and Microsoft have taken advantage of platform business models, abandoning the traditional pipeline model in favor of fostering a community of users and connecting providers with consumers. Discover how these businesses thrive by focusing on demand economies of scale, implementing frictionless entry and effective curation to drive growth, and establishing core interactions that enable the exchange of value. Platform business models revolutionize traditional industries. The spread of platform business models has disrupted and transformed traditional industries such as travel, transportation, media, and communication. Companies like Airbnb and Uber match external producers with consumers, creating value by enabling the exchange of goods, services, or social currency. These platform businesses concentrate on external resources, hiring outside professionals and resources rather than building internally. By inverting the traditional pipeline model, the platforms create value for their communities of users by using resources they don't own, connecting providers and users. Applied to the Internet of Things, platform economics will dramatically alter the business models associated with countless goods and services. Platforms grow more quickly than traditional businesses by getting rid of inefficient gatekeepers. The Kindle platform is an excellent example. Any author can publish a book on the Kindle platform, and depending on consumer feedback, the book can climb to the top of the bestseller list or flop. The readers ultimately decide through their purchases. Economies of scale in platforms The growth of traditional pipeline firms was due to supply economies of scale, that is, producing large batches of goods at reduced costs. In contrast, platform businesses focus on demand economies of scale, which grow through the use of demand aggregation, apps, and social networks. Such economies aid achievements of positive network effects by providing on-demand services to consumers. To understand these effects, imagine a time when nobody had a telephone and there was no one to call. As more people installed phones, personal connection networks flourished in a nonlinear progression known as convex growth, Metcalf's law. The platform concept is simple, create a place where producers and consumers can interact and benefit. To facilitate growth, effective curation and frictionless entry are essential in promoting positivity and boosting growth, unlike traditional, leaner businesses that run on just-in-time inventory systems. Building a successful platform business Setting up a platform business can be daunting, but focusing on the fundamentals can make it easier. The three essential steps are to define the participants, consider the value unit, and create a filter. Participants refer to the users and producers who will be using the platform. The value unit is the core element that provides value to the users and producers. It can be challenging to control but is the biggest factor in the platform's success. Lastly, creating a filter enables suitable value units to be exchanged between the participants. Successful platform businesses like Uber, Facebook, Alibaba, and Airbnb have all focused on these three elements to establish themselves as community-based resources. As the platform grows, it might diversify, but keeping these elements in mind can help it stay on track to success. Pipeline versus Platform, the game has changed. Pipeline businesses must adjust or perish in the age of platform domination. Successful platforms, fueled by positive network effects, grow faster and threaten traditional companies. This disruption occurs through new sources of supply, new forms of consumer behavior, and community-driven curation. Adaptive pipeline firms take cues from successful incumbents who invest in technology, reinvent themselves as ecosystems, and connect with users to create value. To thrive, companies must favor the greatest sources of new value and move with the market, not against it. The game has changed, adapt or risk being left behind.
Winning Strategies for Platform Businesses Platform businesses require a different approach to advertising. Instead of push strategies, pull or viral growth strategies work better. Implementing one of eight successful strategies to address the chicken and egg dilemma can lead to growth. These strategies include demonstration projects, piggybacking, creating value units, appealing to critical user groups, starting with one set of participants, attracting producers, using traditional push marketing, and selecting a tiny but influential target market. Successful platform companies surpass conventional businesses in terms of complexity, and they require a tailored strategy. Monetizing your platform Learn how generating excess value and prioritizing users can lead to the successful monetization of your platform through transaction fees, customized filters, and charging producers for access. If you're looking to monetize your platform, the key is to create excess value. This can be achieved by granting users access to valuable content, connecting producers with new markets, or providing tools for buyers and sellers. To make money, Platforms can charge transaction fees per activity or flat rates for full access. Customized filters can be used to charge different rates for various levels of content, with higher levels of curation costing more. Another option is to charge producers for full access to the platform's community. By prioritizing users and generating excess value, successful monetization and network effects can ensue. Open Source Platforms and the Challenge of Governance The book summary explores the challenges of maintaining high-quality output on an open-source platform like Wikipedia while accommodating a higher degree of openness. Governance is crucial for establishing rules for user participation, value sharing, and conflict resolution. Monetization is another complicated challenge that determines the viability of a platform. Platforms like Facebook and Alibaba need smart self-governance mechanisms to mitigate market failure risks. The Platform Revolution The rise of platforms is transforming industries by leveling the field for consumers and offering more efficient and innovative ways of doing business. Industries with high fragmentation and information asymmetries are prime targets for platform disruption, while regulated industries with high failure rates, like mining and agriculture, are less likely to be affected. The education, healthcare, energy, and financial services industries are at the forefront of this transformation. The Internet of Things will also play a role, connecting different platforms to add value. While platforms offer amazing new forms of value for millions of people, they will also create winners and losers, and some businesses may not thrive in this new era. Nonetheless, the future of business lies in the adoption and integration of platforms. As we conclude our journey through the platform revolution, it is evident that businesses have been disrupted across various industries, paving the way for platform-based companies to dominate the market. The success of platform businesses relies on facilitating easy interaction and exchange of value between producers and consumers, leveraging network effects, and addressing the chicken and egg problem that often plagues these models. Monetization strategies should be carefully considered, with a focus on user experience while balancing openness and governance to ensure quality. Although some industries may remain resistant to platform disruption, areas like education, healthcare, logistics, and transportation are ripe for change, ushering in a new era of value creation and innovation.